thinking of using the ferry across the North Sea between Hull and Rotterdam and wonder what the cabins are like? Is the food okay? Is the duty free cheap? And what is there to do on board? Then this video is just for you. The journey between Hull and Rotterdam usually takes between 11 and a half and 12 hours. Two ships work the route, the Pride of Rotterdam and the Pride of Hull. They can take nearly 1,400 passengers and 250 vehicles. There are 530 cabins on board. You get your P&O ferry cabin key when you arrive at the port. In addition to using it to open your cabin door, you also show it if you have a pre-booked meal deal. There are two different ways you may board the ship as a car driver. You either drive in via the back of the ferry or you enter the ship higher up on the side. You'll also exit the ship in exactly the same place that you arrived. Don't do what I did and try and film at the same time as walking around the cars. If you do, you may have a little accident like I did walking into a tow bar. Best to concentrate. If this video is proving helpful to you, you can put a smile on my face and help grow the channel by hitting the like button. The benefits of a more expensive cabin like this Club Cabin Double, which costs £153, include a bit more space, a television, a larger bathroom, a kettle, a desk, a view out to sea and a minibar. The good news about the minibar is you paid for its contents when you booked your cabin. So if you don't use it all on the night, take it with you. The standard cabin inside bunk is a good alternative if you're short of money. You won't have a kettle or a minibar or a view out to sea. You also don't have enough room to swing a cat. However, it is a good alternative as you're only on board for one night and only need to sleep for a few hours. Oh, and it costs £98. When you get on board, it's always worth taking some time to have a look around, as you'll be surprised at some of the gems on board that will help make your time there even better. Like, did you know they have a cinema? Oh, and you can also buy pizza on board too. The public areas are broadly on three decks. Deck 8 has the Sunset Bar, Casino, Duty Free Shopping and the Buffet at the Kitchen where you can have an evening meal and breakfast. Deck 9 has a Cinema, Arcade, Irish Bar, Continental Cafe, More Duty Free, oh and the Brasserie. And then right at the top of the ship, Deck 12, you'll have the Sky Lounge and Sun Deck which is worth visiting for the views and to have a drink. The cheapest place to eat is the kitchen, which is effectively a buffet. You can have both an evening meal there and also your breakfast. You can book this before your trip on the ferry's website. The food is pretty good for a buffet, and the only issue is sometimes other passengers feel their hands are clean enough to touch the food. Adult price for breakfast is £12.50, and the evening meal will set you back £24. If you want a sit-down meal in a quieter location, the Brasserie is for you. But make sure you book your table as soon as possible, as otherwise you may be disappointed. The food there is pretty good, as is the wine. A two-course meal with a bottle of wine costs me around £30. If you would like to keep up to date with my travels, which aims to help you plan future holidays, make sure you hit the subscribe button. I have a new series coming soon from the Azores and the Atlantic. What a fantastic place that was to visit. I'm not normally a big fan of duty-free shopping. I often think it's not that much cheaper. However, on these ferries, the prices were a lot cheaper than you'd pay in the UK. If you spend enough, the crew will take your shopping down to your car when you leave. Oh, and trust me, having tried to carry my shopping and case down to my car, uh, this is worth having. 
disembarking understandably takes a little time. So you don't benefit from being the first down to your car nice and early to disembark. It does take a while to get off the ship, so there is no prize for being first. Going through passport control can take quite a while. In the Netherlands we queued for around 25 to 30 minutes. In the UK it was around 15 minutes. For more on a ferry from Hull to Rotterdam and Rotterdam to Hull, there are links to two videos on the screen now.